And hello again, Internet. Yeah, we're trying this one again. And for those on YouTube who are confused, don't worry about it. I had some failed attempts at this yesterday, one of which was a glitch that ate for the first 40 minutes of the game because it would not let me continue. The NPC I'm supposed to talk to to continue would not talk. So I was stuck at the entrance before you could even save. But beyond that, I was trying to use the, the arcade stick and the way it's laid out, I was having troubles hitting the buttons. Not doing that today. Today I've got the control, the regular Xbox controller in my hands. Well, Xbox One at this point. So yeah, I still have an Xbox One controller. Hey, it still works. I'll keep using it until it dies. I like these. Hell, if I can repair it, even better. Yay! Anyway, yeah, I'm using the Xbox controller here. Um, gonna change the control scheme. I will still fight a little bit for which ones are gonna be fight and jump, but I know what I'm gonna do with the other two buttons this time. And for the history of this, since I'm gonna have to go through this again, at least the personal history of this, I used to have this game on Game Boy Advance. I never beat it. Never did get 2, 3, and 4. I did get the DS collection. Never really played it. So this has been one of the Mega Man franchise things that has always eluded me. And you, you guys ought to know by now, I'm a pretty big Mega Man fan. So I've been waiting for this. This is why I went through all the other games, to get up to these, including going through the X games. And I had previously done all of one through, you know, I'd already done all of the original series Mega Man games. I still haven't done 11 yet, though. I had done all the X games 1 through 6, had not finished um, 7, had not played 8 until I did the collection. Because for one thing, you know, I had 1 and 2, actually at one point, yeah, hey, hey, Gearjo. At one point I actually did have all 6 of the NES games, but when I was very young I only had 2 and 3. Which, mm, they were so good. I then did have X1 and X2 on cartridge. I think I had X2 on cartridge? I know I had at least, yeah, I had X1 and X2 on cartridge. Didn't have X3, but I had, and still do, the anniversary collection for both the regular series and the X games. I don't have the regular ones anymore, unfortunately. But I had the X games on PS2. Had 7 and 8. Still have 8. Still have 7 and 8. Still have 8 wrapped, even, so... But these are the ones that always got past me. Never did finish these. There's a couple other little side games I haven't done either, but... Now, about this collection here. These are not emulated. These are ports. You can tell that by going through the game files, and all the game files are there. So, no ROMs for these, and it looks like it's based on the DS version. Even this is based on the DS version. Because... If you go in the game files, it's XC, the X or the ZC, Z collection. So it's still interesting to go through this. And it does have the English version and the Japanese version. Uh I mean X1 kinda introduced the armors. But if you mean swapping the armors, that'd probably be for the PlayStation ones. But I mean, we've seen those. They're fun. They're great games. I recommend them. Yeah, they get a little weird. Like X7's not great. X7's pretty bad. But for the most part, for the most part, Mega Man is a solid franchise. And I do enjoy, like, I like the art style for this. I love this anime art style they gave him different stylization for these games which is very cool anyway we're gonna go ahead and start this off no casual no save assist and again this is originally on Game Boy Advance now I'm using the no filter one I the CRT filter is interesting in that it basically puts white noise on the screen which is a really good way of kind of removing the sharpness without just blurring everything I really like it, but I don't think it would do well with the encoding, which is why I'm not going to use it. So, yeah. And I'm, we're not going to continue, because this is a fresh thing, new game. But the, the continue is at literally the first continue point anyway. 
All right. Puff, puff, puff. No. <sighs> the X clones. Ah! Into the golems. So I love this. I mean, you also have to remember when you when the, this game was first out, it was on Game Boy Advance. A little tiny little screen that you could barely fucking see. Which is one of the reasons why these colors are very oversaturated. And they're gonna get probably even more so as it goes. Because I don't think they might have changed them for the DS release. You know, toned it down a little bit because the DS was actually lit. A dead end? No, I feel a strong energy inside. This must be the place. Okay, leave this to me. Stay back, Seal. Again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing names properly, but that's the way it's going to be. That's cool to have a little cutscene. Yeah, this thing is lit. Yeah. This must be... Now notice, no arms, no, like, clothing. Why do robots have clothing in this? What the hell? Why is this guy wearing a uniform? This must be Zero. Uh, we found him at last. Because they're robots! It's protected. <laughs> what should I do? Die. Well, that's what you're going to do. Here come the X clones. So we are cornered. We have to evacuate now. But we have no time to argue. And dead. Blonde. Well, Blonde's dead. Seal. Seal. Huh? You should use my power. You have no choice. This is the dumbest thing in this game. I swear to God. What? Passy? If I do, you'll be... What an unfortunate name. Don't worry about me. Remember, everyone is waiting for your safe return. So I like the fact that they tried to do these cutscenes in the GBA. You know, GBA did actually do FMV. I mean, there's literally Game Boy Advance video cartridges that were released. So it could do it. Mind you, I would definitely not recommend those. Exactly. <laughs> they are low-res chunky, but they exist. And I mean, you know, for kids, being able to buy a cartridge that has a few episodes of your cartoon on it, what's wrong with that? CL? CL, okay. Thank you, CL. Goodbye. Passy! I will probably still mispronounce it. And then, boom. He gets arms and clothing. Don't ask me how that works. Zero has been resurrected. Oh? Zero? Help me, please. You're my only hope. All right. All right. First things first. Custom. Main button. Attack. Jump. I was going to switch these two around, but I kind of like that, actually. No, I think I do need to switch these. Let's try that for dash. All right. Nope, nope, those gotta be reversed. Those gotta be reversed. No, no. Well, yeah, actually. There we go. That should work. Yeah, there we go. That feels a lot better. That feels so much better. Control-wise. That's how it should be. Yeah, it was just my bad yesterday for trying something different. 
I just my fingers would not work because every time I try to change the controls, because another problem is I was changing it so much, but I was trying to change it because like okay, well naturally I want to hit this button, but I kind of wanted to hit every button differently. It's like every time I was trying it, it was hitting a different fucking button. Okay, so. There we go. Stupid explosion. What? It's a dead end. What should we do? Die. Why do you keep asking what we sh what should you do? The answer is almost always die. You. Thank you. This place seems to be a prehistoric laboratory. We may be able to find a trans server, which we can use to go back to the resistance base. Yes, because ancient technology will take you exactly where you want to go. Then again, I guess they're still basically using that technology, so they're just hoping they have one that still works. Right, that's the dash button up there. Get used to the dash button. How nice. This passageway has collapsed. And shall we go back? Stay back! Okay. From where you're standing, saying stay back is telling her to get closer to the wall. Zero, no run. You can't damage this thing with a buster. Watch me. And of course, it immediately does the one... Different of all the first time I did it. Oh, of course, you can tell where it's going to go. I mean, it fucking shows you right away what it's doing. Rats! Huh? Use this, Zero. Who are you? Hurry. You have to save her. Don't waste time. And one shot with the saber. Yeah, I think I'm going to be a bit happier with the control scheme. We'll, we'll see if I can beat the first boss. Because yes, the first boss, despite this being a Mega Man game, it feels, at least from what I've seen of it so far, remember, I have played this a little bit before, but I never beat it. What it seems to be is more of a Metroidvania, which is what I had been asking for for how long? I can't believe you were able to destroy a golem. We were right. You are Zero, the legendary Reploid. Zero, is that my name? I don't remember. I don't look anything like Zero used to look. Just relax for a moment. You have hibernation sickness. I'm sorry for forcing you to wake up, and thank you for saving me. My name is CL. I'm a scientist. Let's go to our base before more enemies arrive. What if I'm not the Zero you were talking about? At this point, it doesn't matter. You have proven that you are helpful. Yeah, you proved to me that you are Zero by saving me from the Golem. Even if you're not Zero, you're Zero. We're in luck. The trans server is still active. Stand on the trans server and press up. Then you can go back to our resistance base. Let's go! And that would have been a achievement there, but I already got that one. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Welcome to our resistance base, Zero. This is a shelter for injured reploids who are suspected of being mavericks. We have fought so hard to survive. However, we know that the end is coming. But that's why we have been looking for you. You are our last hope. Most of us think that Zero is nothing but fantasy. However, a few still believed in your existence and have looked for you. You are Zero, the legendary Reploid who fought with X to save the world 100 years ago. X? That name sounds familiar. X, that legendary Reploid, is still alive, and he's trying to retire all of us. X is trying to retire you? 
His plans have already begun. Many innocent Reploids are being retired as we speak, given pension plans and everything. Yeah, yeah, bad joke, I know. I made it last time, I gotta make it again. <laughs> we need your help. Our future depends on you. Please help us. No way! I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Thank you. It's like a dream come true. Now with your help, I think I can save everyone. I have something I need to ask you. Please talk to me when you are ready. This is where it broke last time. I could not talk to her. Now. First things first, go check the rest of the base. Because, you know, people to talk to. Talk to Ali Wet. Get back here. Nice to meet you. You saved Seal, didn't you? My name is Ali Wet. Seal named me. Have you ever heard of the thing called a Cyber Elf? A Cyber Elf is an electronic entity that gives some kind of power. But once they use their powers, they perish. I feel sorry for them. That, I hate that mechanic. Oh, I hate that mechanic. Because, you know, you want to try saving them. Why on earth are there consumable, sentient, living code? Bad game. You don't look familiar to me, sir. I see. Zero is your name. Oh, has it got something else to say? Sometimes they say two different ones. Then I'll call you Mr. Zero. My name is Dunday. It's the name Seal gave me. It used to be called OBN6. <laughs> Dull name, isn't it? Yeah, let's go down. Down to energy. Yeah, I think this control seems going to do much nicer for me. So, it was you who saved Dr. Seal. Thank you so much. Dr. Seal says she wants to ask you something. Please help her. Jumping just seems to extend the length of... Eh, it might not extend the length of dash. But it feels better. One of those things where it's like psychologically... I'm moving faster if I jump. You're not, but you think you are. Oops, no, no, not down here. That's the one I wanted to go down. Seal asked me to watch for when the enemy's transport train arrives. I'll inform you if a train comes, so you can leave this place to me. Music is very repetitive. Are you the one they called Zero? Seal's been looking for you. Please help us, Zero. Very repetitive music. Which is kind of a shame, because the Mega Man series has just known for its history of absolute banger music. Are you the replay known as Zero, sir? Thank you for saving Dr. Seal. By the way, know how to use a trans server? Let me explain. A trans server basically moves something from someplace to someplace. It can transfer you to wherever you have been. If you want to download an electronic entity called the Cyber Elf, this is also the place to do that. Some of the Cyber Elves that you capture are not usable at first. You should give them, you should give these Cyber Elves blue items called energy crystals, which you will sometimes find when you destroy an enemy. As you feed a Cyber Elf with energy crystals, it will grow. Once it is fully grown, it will become available to use. However, once you use a Cyber Elf, it will perish. Remember, they are only electronic code but if you treat them poorly, they will turn on you. So here's the teleporter room, basically. Oh, you are unfamiliar to me. Are you new here? Kick butt so that you can become a reploid like the others. Yeah, same thing. Just gotta check everything, you know? Yeah. 
These controls feel so much more natural. Now, Fatty here. Huh? Who are you? Uh, who cares? Will you do me a favor? I'm too hungry to move. Will you spare me some energy crystal? 250 crystals will do. Well, I don't have 250. I've only got like 98, so no way. Fine then. Be like that. Y y you feed him, and there's a cyber elf behind him. But I'm not going to go farm crystals to do that. Wow, are you Zero? I never thought I'd meet you. We believe that the Zero Saber has unlimited potential for power-ups. It could also have an effect on other weapons. I believe your buster can be charged to shoot a powerful energy bullet. Learn more about the weapons? I know you've lost your memory, but you still have skills. You just need to find a way to recover them. Supposedly, your memory has been improving ever since you obtained the Z-Saber. Don't worry, everything you learned during these battles in your past life will come back in time. The number of skills you've recalled is shown on the subscreen by the number of stars. Check it sometime. So, like, that has four. That one has seven. And I've only got one of each so far. Oh, that's interesting. Does that mean I'm going to have more than just those two weapons at some point? Sweet. All right. Let's see if I can actually talk to her. Yay! I can progress in the game today. <sighs> Are you ready? Now listen. What I want to ask you is if you would try to do something that no one else has been able to do so far. I want you to destroy the disposal center, where they retire our comrades one after another. Even while I speak, they may be retiring a reploid who is wrongly suspected of being a maverick. To prevent any additional loss of reploid life, please destroy the enemy facility. Will you accept? Yes. Save data before starting a mission? Yes, right there. Yes, overwrite that one. Data saved. Alright, the disposal center is up ahead of you. Please rescue our comrade. Alright, here we go. Now I gotta see if this combat actually, if my control scheme works for me. Oh god, so much nicer already. Back here. Stop that. And I know where a few things are, because once again, I did play this first part yesterday. But because of the control scheme, I couldn't get past the boss. I was just fat fingering it the whole time, couldn't figure out how to actually move. You got a Cyber Elf. And there's a 1-up, which in this game, oh boy. You'll see. Alright. Now, for the part that I kind of hate. It has to be in the right position. Because notice that it kind of floats around a bit. You have to hope that it floats close enough to you. Like that. Blind jumps when there's spikes around. That's careful. I gotta be careful of that. So there, my Z Saber skill is up. I can now perform a double slash. So it's like an RPG, man. You get XP, or at least weapon XP. Which you can't see your actual XP numbers. Just when you get a new star. Oh yeah, and charge shot. There's that over there, which I've not been able to get yet, and I don't think I can. I think I have to come back here with something else that helps me dash upward or something.
Yeah, I hate that that elf kind of appears inside the thing. Through the shutter, you'll reach the disposal center. Okay, let's do this. Let's see if I can do any better this time. Now that I might have some controls. I'm Aztec Falcon, Harpuya. The Guardian, Harpuya the Guardian sent me to clean up. Hey, help! Help me! You must be some of the garbage. <laughs> Just in time, I'll dispose of both of you together. No, no, no! God damn it! Better? Not great. Still having issues. <clears throat> That's just me. It's not the game. Now, this is what I don't like. Your lives? Once you're out, you're out. There is no... This is a continue. So, not exactly spare lives in this one like, you, like a normal Mega Man game. It's a very different style of game. I'm not saying that I don't like it. I do like it. In fact, I'm kind of mad at myself for never beating it before, because I would have loved to have continued this series. God damn. Would you stop that? Oh, yeah. Oh, come on! Fucking hell. But hey! That's a big improvement. So, okay. Good. Controls are working. <sighs> Thank you. Never expected someone would come to rescue me. Thank you so much. I'm still in shock. <laughs> I'll return to our base. When I'm able to walk again, you can go back now. I'll, I'll be fine. Or when I'm able to walk again. Thank you for your cooperation, Zero. That is the Thunder Chip, I presume. You must get it before you return to the base. Uh. Okay. That was weird. I'm going to assume that's Element down here. Okay, can't talk to anyone here. Hopefully I won't die again. Turn to base. Only B rank, but... Zero, thank you. I never thought I'd see the day when the Reploid Disposal Center was destroyed. Innocent Reploids will be safe for a while. Thank you so much, Zero. You are Zero, legendary Reploid. I'd like to ask your help again when you have time. That is, if you don't mind doing us favors. Please come and talk to me. I'll be waiting for you. By the way, if you go to the engine room downstairs, you'll find our engineer named... Servo? I don't know, Servo. Mm -hmm. He asked me to give this to you. It's called the Escape Unit. If you use it during a mission, you will be able to abort that mission and evacuate. But remember, the mission will be considered to be a failure if you evacuate it. You got the Escape Unit. Okay, health is full again. Zero, thank you for saving me. So I have a feeling that this place is going to populate over the game. So, yeah, early impressions. It seems, you know, Metroidvania, kind of RPG-like. Which, absolutely approve of. Alright. Oh, this is the engine room, right? It was over here. 
probably have different things to say now. All right, nothing in that room, I guess. Wait, how much energy have I got? Only 196. Now, there will be parts, like, the fact that the, ener the lives are fully consumable tells me that I need to farm them. Oh, hello. I can't talk to you. Or you, I guess. But you, I can. Thank you so very much, sir. I say you saved a friend of mine. Thank you so much. Zero, I want to be a scientist like Seal when I grow up. You're a robot! Whoops, I almost forgot. I heard that a cyber elf who was in Seal's room is missing. And it's said to be a baby elf, so I wonder if it lost its way home or something. If you wanted to make a game... <sighs> okay, see, lines like that make me think that this was not originally supposed to be a Mega Man game. The fact that it's a Metroidvania also makes me think this wasn't originally supposed to be a Mega Man game. And they just decided to wedge the Mega Man IP on it. Which, don't get me wrong, I'm glad they did. Having a game focused on Zero is actually really cool. It was something that a lot of people wanted. Alright, I already talked to you, so whoops. And I pushed the wrong thing, so double whoops. Um, you're a new boy, aren't you? You kicking butts? Has to become like the other Reploids? Listen, son, are you interested in what I have to say? Uh, you are interested in my story. Thanks for saying that. I may not look it, but I used to be a handsome Reploid. I was very popular with the ladies. You're a robot! You don't age! Why are robots getting old? I mean, I can understand slowly wearing out and having to have parts replaced, but you shouldn't be physically aging. It was the night of the full moon when it happened. I was carrying containers in a warehouse at the harbor when I heard a song drifting over the night air. I looked up to find a beautiful lady with long hair singing in front of the crowd that had gathered at the harbor. I was amazed to find that I was deeply moved by her song, though my body and mind were made of machines. After spending time together and talking, we fell in love and eventually started living together. Are you tired of listening to me yet? My story yet? Oh, you want to listen? I told you up to the time we began to live together, didn't I? I'll continue. As time went by, she grew older and older, while I remained the same. She came to resent how she looked and began avoiding me. So I asked Seal to mod- Okay. Okay, that explains. I asked Seal to modify me and become what I am now. We could be together. She has long since passed away, but the memory of her will never be erased from my memory chip. Thank you for indulging me with your company and listening to my story. Keep this as a token of my gratitude. I got a cyber elf. And apparently his name is Andrew, according to the achievement. So that was dumb. Okay, is this the guy you wanted me to? This is, is this the guy I'm supposed to talk to? You, hey, Mr. Engineering Man? I still can't believe you are who Seal says you are. Wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. My name is Servo again. Okay, this is the right one. As you can see, I'm a Reploid engineer. Seal and I have been researching and conducting experiments on entities called Cyber Elves. They were kind enough to spare me an engine room, which I modified to be a, my laboratory. If only I had enough time and data, I could develop some weapons for you. I'm not too busy to ask old Andrew to tell me about old times, but you should try to keep him company and listen to what he has to say. It's helpful and informative to spend time with the aged. That's so fucking stupid. So fucking stupid. Okay, so what do we got here? We got vitality. You want me to increase vitality? Vitality. Climbing. Save me from a pit. Slow time. Stun. Huh? Now what? Did you guys are mistaken? Decide to give me energy crystals? Of course not. 
All right, well, I guess, well, I haven't talked to the guys upstairs, and there's that other room, so there's still places to look. Let's go to the train room. Let's also see, like, I should still be able to go to that place from here, right? There's no enemies here anymore, though, so what the hell? All right, same thing. So is this guy still going to block over here? No, I can just keep going now. And now I do get some enemies. Okay. And over here, it's... Well, it's not raining this time. So I can go back, which is good, because, you know, if you miss elves, you need to go back and get them. And in theory... Oh, you weren't here before, bitch. In theory, you can probably farm extra continues this way. And of course, XP and energy crystals. Fewer enemies here too as well. I don't know how I'm supposed to get up to that thing. I, mean, I can't stand on that and do it. Ah! Ha! Maybe I can. No! Shit! I can damage boost up to it. not working anymore. Z saber skill up. I don't get a three shot. Let's get some energy back before I keep doing this. Okay, so in theory I can collect that one elf now. But it is not easy. go back to the base. So at some point I will have to be farming lives, or continues, I guess. How much energy have I got? 240. Change area. Let's go back to the underground lab. Get those last 10 to feed that one guy. I mean, I'm here. I might as well do it. Oh, let's actually try this. Buster shot skill up. You now shoot four. That ought to be enough. Yep, 256. Controls are working much better with the gamepad. I mean, this game was meant... The GBA had two buttons on the front, on the face, other than start and select, obviously. And the two shoulder buttons. And the controls actually work for that. So. So it is cool that I can go back to the same area. All right, fatty. Uh, now what? You guys are mistaken. Decided to give me the crystals? Really? Thank you so much. I don't have anything to give you in return. Sorry. Thanks for crystals. See, now I'm in tip-top shape. Time to work. That's okay. You aren't what I care about. 
this is. Yay, Cyber Elf get. Alright, let's talk to her. Uh, there we go. Choose an option. Process data. Save. Here. Oh, good. I can save without going on to the next one. Talk! Zero, thank you. I never thought I'd see the day when the Ripley just... Well, I've already done that. Begin mission. Oh! Okay! So I have a choice now. I can destroy the train, find a shuttle, or retrieve data. Yeah, I'll just do them in order. Destroy the train. We want to destroy the enemy transport train in order to disrupt their supply. Based on the report from our scout unit, the enemy train is at the old platform loading cargo. At the, the time to attack is now. Please help us destroy that train. Will you accept? Yes. Transport train is lying deep within an underground passage. Keep your guard up. I'm glad I went there right away. The platform is in the opposite direction. Uh, can't go any higher than that. What about down here? Oh, that's just a pit. Gotta keep checking them. You never know when there's gonna be something down one of them. Got a cyber elf. Okay. And the more things I kill, more XP. Yeah, better control scheme today. Makes a difference. Bonus area. See, this is why I check. This is why I check. All right. Wow, you're a bad shot. Ah, oh, you finally hit me with one. Interesting. Oh, cool. Good thing I saved and fought it. Oh, that was a mini boss. Okay. Guess I had to stay and fight that. Which would mean this is the boss boss? These levels are short. But then again, GBA. Being held within the transport train is a cyber elf that was stolen from our base. If it is taken to their base, they will abuse its power. Yeah, once. Rescue it, please! <laughs> On we go. The train seems to have left. Please rescue the abducted cyber elf. Counting on you, Zero. Oh, timeline. Alright, gotta run. See, this I don't like, because... 
trying to find secrets and shit. Like, I don't know where secrets are. Is there one up here? Get my ass kicked, too. Cyber Elf. Two ten, and I'm actually weakened already. See, you've reached the engine chamber. What is that thing? Be careful, Zero. Bullshit! Bullshit! Oh, from the beginning? Okay, well... Shit, how am I gonna get the one elf then? One of the elf was a random drops. Buster shot skill up. You can now charge your Buster up to two grades. Oh, cool. Yeah, where's that cyber elf? Where's the elf? Gonna be missing a cyber elf. I'm gonna be missing a cyber elf. I don't like that. My completionist brain doesn't want to miss one. That does some damage now. Look at that. Stop. Stop. Man, that does some damage. Way more than I was doing before. Mission complete! Thank you, Zero. The mission was a success because of you. I really appreciated your help. You got a Cyber Elf. Now, does that mean I can go back there and get the Elf again? Thanks to you, the abducted Cyber Elf has been saved. And the enemy supply route has been cut off. Thank you very much, Zero. We owe all of this to you. Cyber Elf Yuskin was only a child. It's a program! But she is a unique Cyber Elf that will learn an awesome ability when she grows up. Raise her with love and care. Alright, hold on. Which one did I get? Energy. So I guess if I use those, I, they're kind of like living E tanks. Is that it? I'll give you cover from fire. Animal. They will boost your ability. Can I? I can't. There we go. I think this is the one. I will help in the damage zone. I reduce a boss's energy. I can slow time, stun, slow time. 
They change data. They nurse you back to health. Okay. I do want to go back and double check. Thank you for your continued support. I want to see if I can go back onto the train and get that other elf that I missed. Also, what are my weapons like right now? Ooh, three star on the buster. Which doesn't mean I gotta use the sword more, I guess. Yep, I can keep going. Fewer enemies. I suppose I should be doing this. Keep it charged. You know, it's a Mega Man game. Keep the weapon charged. Jumping high enough for that. Don't tell me you're back. Okay, good. Right, so what happens here? Is the train still here? Is the train gone? The train appears to be gone, obviously. However, this wasn't here before. this. Oh, cool. Well, I've been there now, so I can transfer to this spot. I came here to investigate the facility above, but it's heavily guarded. I'm afraid I'm not up to this mission. Okay. So this will be something for later. Sorry to put you through this. We'll go in as soon as we have an opportunity. Nothing to worry about. Trust us and concentrate on your mission. Alright, so there's nothing, literally nothing there. Oh, I can't even go back through the door. I have... Wait, hello. I'm sorry to put you through the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same thing. So, the game just blocks off areas with more Reploids until you're ready to go there. Not sure I like this. Alright, how much is that one elf? What is it? 1,500! Let's see what the old man has to say. Welcome, son. You must have a lot of time on your hands. You just better listen to what I have to say. I'll tell you a story of when I was a sailor. The first ship I assigned was the huge, gorgeous yellow vessel. Storm like we all live in a yellow submarine. Storms and the high winds tossed me into the ocean many times during my freshman days. Every time I fell in, it caused the crew a lot of trouble. I can't remember how many times I thought I should quit the job and go back home. I mean, you're a robot. You probably sank to the bottom. Mm. Do you wish to leave now? Okay, let me continue. Time passed, and I became a full-fledged sailor. I traveled all over the world and got to meet lots of people and experienced emotional farewells. There's just as many farewells for that as there are hellos. Funny, I know some of my bosses were very demanding, yet I only have fond memories of them now. Once peace is restored, I'd like to go see the ocean again. Thank you for sharing time with me. As a token of my gratitude, I'll spare some energy crystal. Damn! He spared a lot of energy crystal. So I'm gonna keep looking around the base every time, see what there's, see what's there. See things changed.
typical RPG-ish stuff. Talk to everyone every time. As you may know, the more you use a particular weapon, the more your skills will go up in it. Yes, I've noticed that. Thank you. Gotta use my saber more. I know they call me excess baggage behind my back, but I didn't ask to be created like this. Alright, fatty. you, Mr. Zero. Everyone calls you Zero the Destroyer. You are true to your reputation. Keep going and fight for world peace for me, sir. Yes, the Destroyer for world peace. I feel reassured with a reploid like you, Zero. The Destroyer. That rating system, I'm sure, comes into play for other things later. I am not going to worry about it. I'm just here to beat the game once. I might replay it later. I'm having fun so far now that I got the controls working. But there's so many games. So very, very many games. Alright, save again. Grab a drink. And on to the next mission. Which mission? Find shuttle, retrieve data, occupy factory, rescue Colbor. So, oh, doing the one opened up two more. But let's find the shuttle. I'm just going to go down these in order. Let's find the shuttle. Some of these Dr. Repoids seem to have hijacked an enemy transport plane and have now escaped, but the plane disappeared over the desert. They might have crash landed in the desert, so we start our scouts to look for them. However, our scouts are having difficulties due to the hordes of hostile enemies in the area. I'm sorry, but will you go and help the rescue? Yes. <clears throat> okay, well, I'm way over here now. The aircraft that the Reploids are on has crash-landed somewhere in the desert. Yes, I know. That's why I'm here. Hurry and help them them out. You got a cyber elf. Yay! There's a tank. Why is there a tank in the desert? I can't tell if those are robot birds or not. They may not be. It's weird because I kind of thought all life on this world had been destroyed by now. I literally jumped. More elves. Oh, what the? Oh, what were the hell? Those are back. some health. I'll farm some health here. Like that. Not to take that one because it's static.
interesting. My name is Anubis Necromancis the Third. I work for Fefnir, one of the four guardians. I'm the king of destruction and the ruler of the desert. The reploids you are looking for are deep in the desert. If you wish to rescue them, you'll need to defeat me first. On guard, old timer. That was some bullshit. Ow! So is my weapon just not doing anything to you? Is that what's going on here? Okay! Ouch! There we go. Yeah, that doesn't look like it hurt him at all. Barely. No, only the sword's hurting you. Spikes on top of those are not real spikes. They are real spikes. health so do I have to level up the elves to get more health is that what is that how that works I don't want to consume them I just want to use them to I just want to get more health just consuming them destroy because I don't like that yeah that does like nothing is it because of the element what if I turn the element off Okay, so I, it is hurting with the element off. I just gotta time it to avoid those. Okay. Now I am gonna have to do some farming here, obviously, because I'm gonna be out of continues in just a moment here. Shit. No, oh, fuck, yeah, ouch, dead. Okay. Okay, mission failed. So reload the save. I'm gonna try farming. How much energy have I got? 622. I gotta figure out how to get more health, because right now I'm getting my ass handed to me. Feed the elves. What do we got? 750, 750. Those are already fed. 200. 1500 and 1000. Well, let's. 
I mean, this is a good way to test. This is a big one. These ones you can't, but what happens with the big one? Thanks for feeding me, Zero. So what does it do for me? Oh. Alright, well... If I put them in that... Let's find out. Let's just do it. I have one that's grown. Has to be fully grown to be used. Okay, so it's in there now. What happens if I take it out? Is it, is it gone? No, it stays. So those aren't consumed. Oh, do I got a higher jump? I have a higher jump. I can go back and get that one elf now. Yeah, I definitely seem to be climbing faster. I mean, that is what it says it was. But about words. And of course, by using my weapons more, doing more combat, I should be able to get more XP on those. No, I can't jump higher, so that's not what's doing it. I don't think I have the right elf for this yet. Ooh, that was close, though. Got it. Alright, what did this elf... What is this elf? Uh, ba 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 Shit, is that it? That didn't seem too helpful. All right, well, at this point, I guess what I'm doing is just farming energy, or farming the energy crystals, yeah. Because I want to feed those two that give me more vitality. So I need some 1,500 crystals. So I'm going to need health if I'm going to do anything in this. Area underground lab seems to be the best part to part to farm for now anyway. Yeah, I don't really see what this helps you climb thing is for. I'm also going to use the gun as much as possible right now because it's only one thing away from max. Which also is probably why I should use the sabers. It's further away from max. So yeah, I'm going to be back and forth here a few times. Uh, get comfortable. God, this music's gonna drive me up the fucking wall. Alright, I need 750, I believe, for the first elf. I'm also hoping I can get some one-ups in here. Because right now I have two, two spare lives, that's it. Alright, what? 
How much? 430. I'm going to be using this, the gun more. Proceeds to use nothing but saber. Well, stuff up here doesn't seem to drop very much, but... So the stuff inside the levels doesn't really seem to either. Well, this is one that's at least got consistent enemies. Sixty of them on that run. Seem to have decent enough drops. Okay, that one I don't like because it's so close to the edge there that trying to jump up and hit him, I end up attaching to the edge, and thus the sword swings away. Like like and notice the way that jerks the camera around too. Don't like that. at that one from that side the spiders all jump into the wall I was really hoping I'd be able to get a continue down here to at least prove that it was possible who evil number of chips now, or energy crystals. So I'm going to need as many spare lives as I can get my hands on. Because it doesn't appear to be continues, it is just... Once you've run through those lives, <laughs> reload your save, that's all you can do. I miss the Mega Man X style of collecting things. I mean, like... This elf system I don't like as much as just collecting the stuff in a Metroidvania. You know, just give me extra health drops. Especially for defeating the bosses. Whatever. You know, like the heart pieces in X. That's fun. That's a cool collectible. <sighs> Alright, that's one. Let's see how much extra health it gives me. Nuppy 
Thanks for feeding me, Zero. But it doesn't seem to have done anything. Now, let's try the other one. I also haven't gotten any new XP on my weapons. Either one. Maybe I should farm somewhere else. Last pass here, and I'll go farm somewhere else to see if I can get lives there. Just right now, this has not passed the. Okay, there's Zebra Z Saber skill up. You can now perform a jumping rolling slash. Oh, there we go. I got spin jump. That's ah, gonna be handy. Not invincible during it. Definitely not invincible there. Right? How many is that on it? I have three more to go. Gonna go to a different area now. I will go save. Climbing, improves your max energy. That's what they do. Okay, that's good. Didn't seem to improve it by much, but yeah, a little bit could help. Z-Saber skill up. You can now charge your saber? Oh my. I am not getting anything here as far as like drops go though. The other place was much better. back and try the train area. Or this might be good, right here. Except nothing dropped. This doesn't seem to be doing much for me. Let's 
So, do I only get the really good drops if I'm in a mission? Or am I just being really unlucky? That looks like a good place to kill things. Not dropping anything, really. Really not dropping anything. I'm going back to the underground lab. That just seems to be a better place to go. I'm going to get the other elf the other healing elf up. Because, I mean, that boss had two fucking health bars. Come on. Although, maybe I could do a different mission as well. Like, that boss seems like it, it should be doable. I just needed a little bit more health to survive the glut of attacks. All right, Buster Shot skill max. You can now charge your Buster in less time. Excellent. All right, Saber time. Because I got how many more of these do I need? Two more? I could swap these, actually. Going to. This almost makes it feel more like a Metroidvania. I'm melee now. I know this sucks. I'm just going back and forth here killing things, but I really do need the energy for the health. Farming in a Mega Man game. Who would have thunk it? Oh man, this is actually really comfortable. Okay, the problem is, and this has happened, you've seen me happen a few times where my charge just disappeared. If you try using the big shot and, you know, while you're swinging your sword, the shot disappears. So it doesn't move buffer, it just goes away. one problem with relying on the melee. Okay, so what happened? Never mind. Three hundred. Not even close to halfway. And not a single level up drop either. I mean, continue drop. That worries me a lot. So what happens if I just stay here? Does this thing spit out again? 
does. So I can just sit here and farm. Oh shit. Alright, well this is better. Notice that the game set up a freaking farming thing in the first area for you. Because it knows. It knows. Oh, no. See, I'm already at 404. Let's farm right here. No big things from it, though, yet. Maybe you can't get anything big from this. Like, maybe this is just guaranteed to always be a little farm. in the right direction there. Five twenty. Of course, it's still not going to matter if I don't get extra lives. Because, you know, you need to be able to practice the bosses. You can't be expected to one-shot them the first time you see them. You need to learn their patterns and such, and how to hurt them. And you're like, learning that Anubis is apparently immune to lightning. 650... Pardon me. Thunder chip. Oh, there's better places to farm later. Hope it's a place that I can actually farm lives. Alright, that's 760. Alright, there we go. That's got me the other life one.
Download Elf. Change area, resistance base. That should have increased it a little bit more. Hopefully. I genuinely can't tell. Eh, I think I'm actually, yeah, it might be bigger. Okay, well, there's a way to test. That thing is right below the bar there. If I take these two off. Now where is it? It's even higher! No, there we go. So it doesn't actually increase your health meter at all. That's not useful. Does it mean it takes less damage? I mean... Do I have to use it to do this? Well, shouldn't that just be passive? I don't, I don't understand how these things work. Did I just waste a bunch of time, again, as usual? Manual! Okay, these are the controls. Blah, 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 blah. Don't have save assist, don't want that. That that's it for the manual. That that's it for the manual. That's really helpful to have a manual that doesn't tell me anything about the fucking game. I'm gonna try the shuttle again. Oh, let's actually swap this back. Actually, no. I'm going to keep the sword in front. did not mean to charge into it. There's another elf. I know there's one up here. Oh, fuck off with that. I mean, I can't get it now. I think I can't get it now. Yeah, I can't jump high enough for it now. That is some shit. That is some real bullshit. I hope these things don't don't stay that way. Yep, can't jump high enough. Fucking wow. All because I picked something up while moving. So I reload the save? No, I'll just keep it because I'm probably get it if I come back. Like it might be a good place to farm here right now too. These things are giving large packs. So 
So this is already doing way better farming. Can I get some one-ups here? Let's keep going back and forth until I get a one-up. Just to prove that it can be done. Currently have two. Huh. I'm not even getting large things anymore. Is there anti farming in this? Oh, they better not fucking not have any anti-farming mechanics that nerf the drops. Oh my god, I'm getting nothing now. Okay, there we go. Oh, that had me worried. This is probably a better place to do it. There we go. That's at least those, but it's not a one up yet. Health users, right? Get any one ups. Only 330 crystals? This isn't even that good of a farming spot. What the hell? Well, no one-ups, so I still don't know about farming them. I kind of there's a shop or something later on I can buy them from. Super skill up during a boss fight again! You can now charge your slash in less time.
now. I can't tell if I have more energy or not. every quarter health he does this. No! Shit! Bounce me between two of the I say I need fucking I need one ups. I can beat this guy, but not if I have to reload my save every fucking time. Lose all the progress, any of the grinding, any of the XP. That I don't like. I think that's why I stopped playing before. Damn it! Get off me! Well, I'm dead. I'm dead. I can't fucking... I'm just getting bounced here. So that's the trick, is to just hit him twice with this right away. Okay! I need to restore my lives, because what the fuck, I'm out. Which is, any death now is a needs to continue. You got a cyber elf. Which means, if those things are supposed to be healing me, they don't seem to be. Hey, are you alright? I'm alright, you came to rescue. Thank you very much. Can you walk? Yes. I'll be back to the base. Follow me. Uh, I'd like to get the transfer, please. Thank goodness. There's a survivor. Thank you, Zero. I'll have a medic standing by. Will you take him to the entry point? Entry point? I want to get... Okay, well, there's a continue up here, at least. Oh, I hope that one comes back. Zero. Oh my god. I have an escort mission now? Oh, for fuck's sake. You gotta be kidding me. Well, at least I gotta continue. Which I need, you know, a dozen more. Fuck 
fucking hell. I gotta come back in here to get that anyway. There's an elf up there, which I better still be able to fucking get. Come on. This is awful. Bad. Okay, that should. No. Nope. No! You motherfucker! Alright, well, he's still alive. This should be it. fucking doing then? Oh god. Thank goodness I'm saved. It's just brought back a survivor. Hurry and take him to the medic. You take him to the fucking medic. Mission completed. This is awful. <laughs> I'm glad we could save him. Thank you, Zero. Yeah, C rank. The comrade has been saved thanks to you. According to his report, enemies are planning to conduct large-scale attack on the resistance base. That happens, we will need your help again. We appreciate your continued support, Zero. Save the game, please. Alright, well, my day is almost done. But I need to go see if I can get to the desert somewhere. I mean, I'm hoping it's over here. How much have I got? 390. It's not even that much. How do I get back to the desert? Did I lose the one elf? Do the elves even fucking work? How how come this game has a manual? It doesn't... Yeah. No, it's all fucking blocked off here. So what is this? I'm at the desert. I'm at the desert, but I can't go into the fucking desert! Are you kidding?! Send guard, just in case there's enemy attack. Nothing usual so far. I want to go back in there! I want to go back in! Oh my god! I hope at some point I'm able to go back in. Because the whole point is I was going to go back in there and see if I could farm this shit. I don't think these elves are working. Unless I have to actually go in here and use it? Oh no. I do. This one is resting in peace. I'll help in the damaging zone. I'll reduce the boss's energy. Oh no.
Oh no. Was this one, what did this one even do for me, the jumping one? Oh, oh, okay. Really? One of the elves died so that I can climb ladders faster. Seriously. Look at this. Look at that. That's what it died for. Well, you know what? This is my first time playing it. Fuck. Do I try to save the elves or not? Or do I use the ones like that? I feel reassured with the replica like you. I wonder if this place is safe. We should stay and help us. If this place is attacked. I'd like to be a useful Reploid. Can you think of something I could do, sir? This is Zero. Please stay. We need your help. I mean, shit. At least those big ones are permanent, at least, by the looks of it. Or are they? I'm going to have to look it up before I save. <laughs> Which means we're done. Oh my god, I don't... Why would you make this a mechanic? If it's a consumable, just let it be a consumable. Then we don't care. But no, it's a consumable that's fucking alive. But it's code and it's meant to be used. I don't get it. I'm going to have to do it because I need to use it. But uh, now hold on though. But look. I can't even put these other ones... Oh, I can. Okay, so you can actually do that. You can have three elves on you at once. You have three on you at once. So these ones are heals. These are... So these save you from death. Well, I'm going to definitely use you. How much? No. Mm. Slow time. Stun. Enemies will get stunned. Time. Items. Items. Make foes into metals? That's weird. Yeah. I don't. I'm going to look shit up. I have to look shit up now. <sighs> God. What a game. And I hope that one isn't gone. I hope I can get back to it. It's like they... I can see now why I stopped playing this before. They came so close. So very close to making a really good one. And there's just so many things in there that are like, no, why, why would you do it this way? Why would you do it that way? Why can't I go over here? Why is there... You know, why do I have these one-ups that end up killing me right away? Why... Any of this... So close. Let's hope the series gets better as it moves on. I will continue this tomorrow. Until then, take care, Internet. Enjoy the games you play.